Good morning. Hi, welcome back. Good morning. How are you? Feeling great? It's Brittany June, uh, back for another vlog. Um, I didn't vlog very much towards the end of last week. I did a little bit of like clips from the show, but it's mostly because I got really stressed out from like so much work that I had to do. Um, but it's a new week, and now that big the musical is over, I will be putting up clips, which I think I mentioned towards the end in like a caption towards the end of. Um, the last vlog that I posted. I will be putting clips from the show. I just have to get the footage from my school. So now that that's done, I'm starting on a new show. I got called back this um, today, so we have callbacks today, for Alice Stanley's new musical, she wrote. She is currently a writer working on Amy Poehler's new movie in Hollywood not movie, sorry, TV show, Netflix TV show in Hollywood. So she can't be here, but um, Holly Barber, the um, composer, is here and she is doing casting things and we're gonna do a stage reading this Saturday. For, it's called Vegan of Venice. It's a takeoff of Merchant of Venice, which is a Shakespeare show. And I got called back to play Shiloh Locke. So that is what I'm most excited for today. We just got the sides yesterday um, for what we'll be doing. So I'm really excited. That's sort of my next theater thing. Yeah. So good morning. This is from last night. This is the big cast. There's me. It's not my best headshot ever. My hair looks really weird. Miguel, Noah, Molly, William. Yeah. Hey. This Bye. Hurry up. Biology! It's your favorite class of the day, right? I just love biology. I just can't get over it. I like want to be there all day Liam, long. Do you love biology? I do love biology. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, are you excited for Vegan of Venice? I'm so excited for Vegan of Venice. I'm so pumped. Oh, I'm so excited. What? Hi, Liam. Hi. 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 Hi.
you know, get the part that you wanted, and you can be bummed, and, um, but, um, I've learned that this is something, well, one thing, if I'm going to go into this, uh, as a career, it's something that I really have to get used to, because, obviously, there's, it's such a competitive business that, you can't expect that you're going to, you know, get every single, land every single job that you audition. Um, but on top of that, it can just feel sort of like, you know, you worked really hard for something and you felt like you nailed it and you were super professional and you thought, you know, I'm a hard worker, I'm a go-getter, I listen, you know, all those qualities that casting directors are looking for and and then yet they, they'll still choose the other person and it could just be disappointing. Um, every time that this has happened to me in shows, I always end up in a part that I like seems to be so perfectly cast, even though, you know, it's not the main character. And I have been the main character in a few things. It's just this year has been mostly like it'll be down to like Molly and I and then she'll get it. It just can be sort of disappointing. I'm getting off track. I think how I've been thinking about it is that it's really not as personal as you think it is. It's really who fits the best part. I mean, I think there's some there's some theater companies where they do cast based on like like it seems like oh your acting skills are better than hers or you look more like the character than her which is a totally uh, you know totally a thing and I think theater is slowly going away from that a little bit more in terms of like body shaming or like body image but you know it's still a factor and there are some theater companies that do that but for the most part it is very based on how well you fit the character even if that may not be the character that you initially wanted and I have enjoyed playing all of the characters that I've been that I have been playing it just sort of sucks when you know you get so jazzed about this one character and all the songs they get to sing and then and then you think you're gonna get it and then you realize you know someone else someone else gonna get it so if you have any advice or thoughts on this matter, if you are a fellow theater person, which if you're watching these vlogs, you probably are, let me know how you handle that. Something that I've been told since I was younger was it's not rejection, it's direction. So you'll, you're being pointed to wherever you're supposed to go. Share with me whatever your ideas are. I just thought I'd bring it up. All right, it is time to go to bed. It's getting late, I finished my homework. If you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. If you have any thoughts or advice about rejection or not getting the role that you wanted, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to hear it. If you have any questions for me, you can ask me as well. I'm happy to answer and respond. I do theater-related videos and videos of my life. So that's kind of my deal. So I will see you tomorrow for another vlog. Good night.